everybody and welcome to part 11 of my Final Fantasy 9 playthrough brought to you by MDN Gaming as always. So where were we last time? Well we just introduced ourselves to the region of Limbloom Castle which is over there and he was expecting our arrival. Uh, apparently he had sent Tantalus over to actually res uh, to kidnap um, or rescue, I guess he, he's in his thinking, uh, Princess Garnet, to bring her over to Limbloom because he suspected that there were foul play um, at the uh, at Alexandria Castle and he feared for her safety. Um, she calls him uncle, so they're obviously very close. Um, he's, he was best friends with her dad, uh, so he promised to always look out for her uh, if ever needed. Now you'll notice that I am not in the castle, which is where I last saved it. I just wanted to come outside and show you some enemies that are out here and also go pick up a couple of items in there as well. Um, we'll also just look at the items that I'm currently carrying as well. So I've got two new weapons, three new weapons, this, these two, and the yoga. The yoga is the most powerful. Uh, I've chosen that out here because it's needed. I'm on my own and there are some powerful enemies in this forest. So I've leveled up already a couple of times. Um, fairly quick and easy to do when you're out here on your own. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of the enemies before we move on. Um, bird killer. I'm not going to be stealing right now. Antibody. So the enemies here follow what I'm thinking of. Um, so hopefully bird killer will help. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you who it is. Any Final Fantasy Die Hard fans. Um, should recognize them as soon as you see them and it's not them interesting enemies though the spider we've already seen um, oh no back attack but the, uh, the beat thing I can't remember what it's called is is new axe beak yeah so you want to get rid of that first because it puts you to sleep with that and if they wanted to they could just take it in turns and using mag magic attacks on me to kill me um, only physical attacks will wake me up see fire won't wake me up means that on fire will not wake me up from being asleep there we go with that will and you're dead so you notice the ogre is a I don't know what they're called actually, um, but it's basically it puts the weapons together um, and makes one big uh, weapon. I have no idea what that type of weapon is called, so apologies for any sword enthusiasts out there. But made that at the synthesis shop. And you can't, to my recollection, you can't buy those. You can only synth them at the synthesis shop. So we're going to stay here a bit longer. Um, I do need to make, you, you have to heal. Um, in here if you if you come across two of the enemy that I'm looking for they can get your health down very quickly and I've already had a game over I'll admit when I was at level 11 here we go and there you are it's a bomb it's the bomb so I'll not do that anymore again 518. Yeah, you know what? I was in less than that. I was about 300 to them before. 3 to 400. So it definitely makes a difference having bird killer run against that. Even though it's not a bird, it's something that floats. Um, something that can fly. So I guess it counts. Sweet. Okay, so here we are at, um, I forgot what it's called actually, um, Pinnacle Rocks. There are some reports of an old man's ghost appearing here at Pinnacle Rocks. We were unable to verify the rumour, but we recommend that you're staying away from this area. Limbloom areas, two security corps. So they're like cops, I guess, maybe? Um, imagine, if we went, imagine if we went to the police and said, Hey, hey, there's some, some ghosts over there. Um, can you warn the public? Uh, yeah, sure, cool. Um, we'll, we'll warn the public that there's no ghost, uh, that there's ghosts over there, maybe. And because it's a maybe an unverified 
we'll still tell them to to be careful and uh, maybe stay away. Thanks, man. Great, cool. Wouldn't happen, would it? Just wouldn't happen. There we go. I'm going to use a bit of battle assistance here. Woo! Ah, oh, damn it. Nice and easy. A waste of dying. Ah, I could have used it then, actually. Oh well. Oh yeah, I could use it. Uh... We've not seen this one yet. Oh, that was overkill. Antibody. TV shopping, yay. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. This place has lots of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. It looks like the sesame buns like Grandpa used to make. Uh, this would be the Grandpa you referred to earlier. Festival of the Hunt ends today. Wow, there's going to be a festival? Yeah, Festival of Hunt, Vivi. Of Hunt. Hi, I want to buy this. Oh, were you friends with the Moogles? Huh? The item's called a Coupon Nut. Most mo most nuts may are Moogles' favourites. Coupon Nuts are Moogles' favourite food. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyone see the Queen Brown uh, doll there? Can anyone see that? Like, if you look at the rest of the game... So this this game's been remastered for, the, uh, for Steam and it was ported to the PlayStation. But if you look at everything else, like the candles, for example, in the middle, which are on fire, and the things on the table and the chair, none of that has been redone. That's still just a painted background. Um, so the only things that have really been done are the sprites and items that I think you can interact with. But that Queen Bran, that doll there, has been purposely remade. I think it's cool. I think that's the. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey. It's on me. Okay. Great business. Really? Thank you. Coupon nut. Hmm. What is this festival of hunt like? Well, we let a lot. We let a bunch. We let. We let a bunch of animals loose, and oh, there's gonna be lots of animals. It sounds like fun. Thank you. Okay. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? Wait a minute. Did I say animals again? Yes, you did. Okay, guys, I know this is really unprofessional, but I need to go get a drink. I'll be right back. Hey guys, thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we are going to go to the industrial district now. You want to go to the theatre district last. Always go to the theatre district last. Because there's a part of that that gives you a, a prompt on the, next sto on the next story beat. So you want to avoid it. Well, you don't want to avoid it, but you, you just want to go there last. Call the cats. Um, the regent built this statue when Sid the Eighth passed away. Oh, okay, so my question earlier whether the Sid the Ninth is what we're in now is is actually correct. Okay, cool. Developed the first mist-powered in, uh, airship in 1762. Led the airship Armada in 1771 and brought peace to the continent. Died 1780 in honor of my father Sid Ninth. That was to the ninth, I don't know. 
Most engineers are weird. Why is that? That's right. You're a smart guy. Nobody, believe, nobody believes what I say. Putting the engine in the back results in more power. Well, prove it to them then. The store has been moved to Falgo Plaza in the, biz in the business district. Hello, cat. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh there's a box there. Leather wrist. Okay, got tons of those. No, I don't, but I'm stocked up. This is amazing. You can't find architecture like this anywhere. This regency is so advanced. Mm. Well, I guess this is where everything's made, so it makes sense. Sid the Eighth, who developed the first mispowered engine, had a pet cat. Since then, a lot of engineers went out to get cats. I have my own too. Her name is Gypsy. Yeah, look all the cats. Okay, guys, I just want to point something out. Listen to the music here. So all the castle gets this music. And then you get this. This one little area gets its own music. I think that's really cool. It gets a feel of an atmosphere. Uh, it feels lively. The music feels lively. And I don't know. It just feels like the game's more alive. Um, maybe it's just me that feels that. But I really like the fact that they've put the effort into giving this little area its own, its own bit of music. Ah, nothing like a nicer root beer. Blech. After a hard day's work. No, thank you. Hello, miss. Oh, no. No, I won't talk to you. <sighs> Grandma's been selling her pickles lately, and she hasn't given me any attention. Sometimes I think she loves the pickles uh, more than she loves me. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Shig. Oh, no, you are... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all out of dark stew. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna burp. I can't burp anyway, so... Hey, good timing. I just came up with a new dish that I want, to, I want you to try. Uh, no thanks. I'm full right now. Oh yeah? That's too bad. Do you change your mind? No. No, you don't change your mind. Okay. No, it'd be pretty cool to try out the new, uh, the new menu. I don't know why he says no. Oh, what the heck is that dish? Oh, okay, maybe not. Guess what? When I grow up, I'm going to become an airship engineer. I'm going to build a really big airship so I can go everywhere with all my friends. There, go. Oh, sh oh, damn it. There, good dreams, kids. Good dreams. You know what this is? You're not going to believe it. It's a steam engine. It's still a prototype. The house gets hot as hell while this baby's running. That's the only problem. I'm getting thin just and from sweating. I mean, I could do with that. You know, my my, um, my my friends would definitely testify that I could definitely do with something like that. More cats, or just the one cat? Right. Okay, next stop, we're going to go to the theatre district. So this video is just going to be finishing off the exploration of the of the area. And then the next video, and then part 12, will be moving on to um, the next bit of the, of the story. So the theatre district is a bit bigger. Uh, well, yeah, no, it's probably actually small, but it has more, more things to do in it. And this is where the Tantalus hideout is. So this is where he's he lives essentially, um, where all his buddies are. Yeah, steam engine. Oh, I love this bit. You know, I said in part ten, I think I've, I pointed this bridge out from. Is it the room that Garnet was staying in? I, I, I'm, I'm sure that this is the bridge. That, that this is that bridge that you can see. I'm lost again. Where is the princess? This town is big. The castle is big. Why does everything have to be so big? 
Pardon me. Can you tell me where I am? What? You're lost? Gee. You're a soldier for crying out loud. He has a good point. This is the bridge that connects the castle and the airship docks. That big building in front of us houses the docks. Oh, look at that big airship. What? What is that large airship? Amazing, isn't it? It's Hildegard II. Since it's equipped with a steam engine developed by the regent himself, it can fly without mist. Impossible. How can it fly without being powered by mist? What cave did you just crawl out of? This is the age of steam power. The source of steam power is water. It's much safer than mist. <laughs> it's a bright future awaits us all. Ah, oh, he's really excited, man. I love his enthusiasm. Oh, okay, I thought there was an item over there for some reason. Oh, there's an item here. Oh, okay. I like this guy, he's got a cool name. Art, aspiring artist Michael. I'm looking forward to the festival. I'm going to use a festival as a theme for my next painting. Oh, I'm, guys, I'm sorry, that's really bad. Oh, that was terrible. A terrible act. I mean, that's worse than the Ruby accent. And that is a great chocobo. Um, that's a great chocobo carving. I really like that. And the, the fist as well is cool. And I think that's a region. The one on the left, I think, is a region. And that's what that painting. It looks like a chocobo, a sideways image of a chocobo with hair, maybe? I don't know. The 50th annual Lindblom exhibit. This year's winner gets to paint the wall on the church. Alright, that's cool. That's probably big on that. Big deal, that. The card game is really popular right now, especially in the theatre district. Almost everyone here plays. That's great. I'm just a big fan, that's all. My husband gets so jealous. Thump, 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 thump. Are you thumping your husband or something? I don't know. You guys look posh. Look at his moustache. Moustache, moustache. My wife is crazy little fan. Ah, okay. I tell you, she acts like a child whenever, he, whenever she talks about him. <laughs> I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that was supposed to be an angry. <laughs> I like to come here and feed the pigeons. Cool. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. Stop pushing. Hey, who are you? Who am I? I am Sirzidan of Tantalus, the greatest bandit in the world. Have you ever heard of him? No. Ouch. Burn. Go away. Stop bothering us. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Yeah. Hurry up. Where's Lul? How much longer do we have to wait? Please, he'll be here in a minute. Kiss me. I love you. Kiss me. Hey, everyone. What's so special about him? Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Thanks. I love you guys, too. I thought we runs. See you all again. Oh. A Moogle. Damn, I can't see a thing. Thanks for coming to see my Moogle wannabe, too, Kubo. We don't care about you and your stupid show. We came to see LOL. Man, fans are so harsh. Phew, hey, you're... No, no, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Poor guy. It's tough being popular. I should know. Do I have to remind you what they just said? We're supposed to meet here. Where is she? I figured there wouldn't be anybody here. It looks like no one's been here for a while. To do what to do. I'm 
Jesus, that light already. I wonder what Dagger's doing. A forced ATE. What can I do? Bell ringing. A performance in the theatre district must have ended. Is there anything you need, your highness? No, thank you. I was thinking of going outside and having a look around. I'm sorry, your highness, but we cannot grant this request. Right now, there are many people coming to Limbloom for the festival of the hunt. Therefore, things are quite chaotic in town, making security rather difficult. Also, very few people know of your presence here. It's for your own safety. Please understand. Okay, I understand. I can't stand sitting here about this. I didn't come here to be protected. I just want to help Mother. There he is. I told you he'd be here. Why didn't you tell us that you were back? We're in Tantalus too, you know. What? Yeah. Uncle Baku. Aw, Uncle Baku said if we find some treasure, we can be in Tantalus too. Yeah, check this out. Wow, those are trick sparrow wings. That sure is some treasure you've got you found alright. Yay! Yippee! So cute. So did the plan work? Yep, the Princess Garnet is at the castle. Really? Wow. So what's she like? Is she cute? Did you ask her out yet? No, I think she's pretty busy. Plus, she's a princess and I'm a you know, so I don't know. I bet she misses you. Yeah, you should see her. Good luck. See ya. Only she got to talk to Sid. Maybe I should go see her. See Sid, girl. 282 girl. Never a round number. 97 girl. Mini Bermisha. Hmm. Many of the would, in, uh, would be that it indicate that it's a a model of the city. That was a person. Baku and his crew. Oh, nice. Oh, that's very good. Ah, oh, happy to safe. Hurt you. Phew. That tasted good. Ooh, there's a chest up there. I can't believe we found our way out of Evil Forest right before it got petrified. It's all thanks to our bro. He pointed out right before the river, before he took the map to the dam. Remember the guy who got petrified? What do we do now, boss? We've got to save our brother. Yeah, right. But first, we'll let the guys outside drink some water from the lake. Sinner, bring them over. Hey, about blank. I think it's better if Evil Forest stays petrified. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this out of concern for our safety. Then, why? I'm sure he wouldn't want to be saved if it meant Evil Forest was going to be restored to... You're right. I've got to start looking. There's got to be another way to cure his petrification somehow. We ain't too late. We gotta do what we can. I got you, boss. I got you. Oh, that's a tough decision to make, man. Hey, don't go near that box. Hey! Hey, Sinner, what are you doing over there? This spring water might make some good coffee. I'll get it fixing, sir. Do I gotta remind you what happens to members who don't listen to their boss? No, no, please, not that. I bring them over now. Okay. So I could see that they're safe. Uh, I wonder where they are. Where are they? I was going to check our shop out. I didn't check it out before because I knew Vivi was in there. Um, it's in the business district. And I need to go to the business district anyway because I'm going to save the game there. So but yeah, I just want to check out a shop. If you'll indulge me. Oh, 
Oh, it's the gypsy lady. Okay, so up here. It's at the... It's in between the weapon shop and the synthesis shop. It might just be an item shop, if I'm honest. Uh, not that interesting if it is, but I just want to check it out anyway, just to make sure there's nothing there that I've... I've missed or anything. Um, so... This is, is this a sundial? Nope, not there. There. Uh, I think you're going to need some medicine if you're going to participate in the festival. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, soft, we haven't got any of those. Uh, this cures petrification. Not the type that is petrifying you of a forest, though. That is completely different. Much stronger. You can't just chuck a soft at it. I need to... There we go. That's better. Okay, we're not we're not worrying for money here. It's fine. All right then, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to head back to the inn, and we're gonna save it there, and we're gonna end the video there. So I am sorry it's a bit shorter than normal, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to wrap up the exploration of the town, um, and then start the next video before the next story um, part of the game so it's gonna be quite cool actually there's a lot of fighting uh, in the next part of the game um, so that that festival of the hunt yeah it's very fun also I've just realized Bubba birds are symbol of good fortune according to the founder of this inn bought a statue and it's being passed up that looks like a Totoro if anyone's ever watched my neighbor Totoro that is what that's what that, that looks like a Totoro Different colours, but I'm pretty sure that's an easter egg. Um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to do the next part uh, in in one in one video. Uh, I didn't. I don't see the point or the benefit of splitting the next bit up because um, then it leads nicely onto the story bit after that, and then I can end the video there as well. So the next part should take about forty to forty-five minutes, but uh, it is worth having it all in one video. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, anyone that's anyone that's not subscribed yet, uh, please do so. Please consider it. Um, anyone that's not liked as well, give, give us a like, and of course you can hit that bell notification as well. Um, any any comments will I will always um, say something back. And what I'll do is I'm going to put my Instagram um, link on there as well. So if um, if anyone fancies to follow me on Instagram as well to keep to. Um, I don't know, to keep an eye on what games I'm, I'm going to be doing, then feel free to follow me back, follow me, and I will make sure that I follow anyone back that drops me a follow as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much again for um, for listening to my voice and enjoying Final Fantasy IX along with me. Part 11 is now finished, so you all take care and have a good one. Bye bye for now. <laughs>